What is going on, my friends? Welcome to the Southern Series, I guess you could say. We're back in the south at a brand new lake with Me Ancient. Check out his channel down in the description. It is early springtime, my friends. You can see the lake is still low. They still haven't filled everything up yet. Should be a fantastic time. It is spawning season or very close, maybe pre-spawn. We're not really sure. Never been to this lake before. We have out here the crappie box, and my dad is actually throwing a brand new bait, a Dry Creek Outfitters little tube there. But we we're told by a guy that white and chartreuse is really killing him, so he's got that tied on. I think I'll probably try this funky looking color. Check that out. So we're gonna try a variety of crappie baits. We also have some minners in here. I have a mystery box from a subscriber that is full of goodies. Thank you so much, Leandra, for sending this to me. We're gonna open this later because it has a bunch of um, food items. So that'll be for the cook, assuming that we can catch something, a crappie, a trout, a striper, <laughs> Assuming, I hope so, because I'll be hungry. Yes. We did not make any dinner plans because we were uh, hoping that uh, we could catch our dinner out here. So there's a little uh, little suspense involved here. I think even if we don't catch anything, I'm just going to be opening this box because I did take a peek inside and I saw like bags of chips and stuff. It came oh, from nice. Barbados. There he goes. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Yeah. Mm. Got something going on. Should we head mm -hmm. that way? Sure. It might be a topwater bite later. Guys, we're not keeping this just a crappie. I'm going to start off crappie. Fish and I got this little hair jig made by Tyler, subscriber. And I've been using these for years, Tyler, by the way. He sent me this like three years ago. I'm going to tip it with a little minnow there. We're going to start off with crappie, but bass, striper, trout, anything. This is our first time at the lake, so we're just going to have to see what unfolds. Here's a bobber right here attached to a line. Like some old fishing line. Nice free bobber and split shot. Got him. Uh, bluegill. All right, well, first fish of the day. Hoping for crappie. That could be bait. Oh, gonna need a band-aid. <gasps> Guys, there's a little micro turtle. Micro turtle. That is hilarious. Come here, little fella. I got him. Yeah. A tiny, oh, it's a soft shell. Oh, no way. A little micro turtle. <laughs> little soft shell. Huh. Why does it seem like one of these would be great for bait? You know, I've never heard of anybody catching. They stink, I can tell you they that. They stink? They literally stink. When they get big. They, when they, they get big? They smells fine now. You know, I'm gonna stick him. Right in with the minner, she can hang out with them. Who knows what we might do with him later. I might just let him go too. Fish on. Fish on? Nice. What is it? Oh, it's a bluegill. All right, well there you go. You're bigger. <laughs> your first fish. A little that's right. Chartreuse. With a little bit, tagged with a little bit of worm, huh? Tagged with worm, that's right. Excellent. Oh, I just found a little, um, gosh, I whirly bee. I've used a whirly bee in forever. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. A chartreuse one too. That's the one right there. So no, seriously. All right, my friends. This is called a whirly bee. Um, it's just a little tiny crappie bait with a little spinner blade on the back. A little tiny gold one. And uh, these used to be a staple of our family back in the day. We use these a lot. Look at this big tree here, guys. Oh yes. Bounced it right off a limb, right to the base of it. And I oh I missed him. I had one right. <laughs> Yes, 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 right in the corner. He was all over it. It didn't take two seconds. Come on, little buddy. I have a good feeling about this spot. This looks good. Whoa, I got one. Whoa, I got something heavy. Look at this, look at this. I got something heavy, guys. I got something heavy on the light line here. Oh my. I thought it was a snag. Look at this, guys. 
What's that on? Oh, it's just a little uh, crappie jig. Oh my word. But I thought it was a log and the log took off. <laughs> you want to get the net? I've got it right here. Oh, sweet. Maybe, Maybe it's a four pound crappie. Yeah. <laughs> We may have to chase this because he's going right toward that wood. He got off. He got off. Oh, no, no. Ah. He got off. Oh, man. I was just setting it down. Just. Oh. He just popped it off. Oh. Well, that was probably a big catfish. Does that need to feel like that a little bit? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. The hook's sharp oh, and everything. Man. Probably just like hooked him in the whisk or something. Yeah. It felt rolling like that. Yeah, like, like a catfish. catfish. Is this time of year too though. Yeah, they're coming up shallow. <sighs> yeah guys, the uh, I mean the hook's still good. It's just popped right out. The bait's a little torn up. I'm gonna just keep using it. Guys, uh, we, we, it's been many times, especially in the springtime, you can get catfish to bite your crappie jigs. And uh, I just, I don't know, just tore away from his face. Uh, now I'm dying of curiosity of what right. that was, you know. Because it could have been at the paddlefish. Guys, we had a guy at the tackle store tell us the paddlefish are in season right now. And there are apparently a good amount of them in this lake. Guys, my dad has switched to a little bobber with just a plain old... Little J hook is all I got on. Little J hook. Oh, yeah, you're getting a bite on the minner. Got him. Oh, yeah, he's still there. <laughs> what is it? Please be a crappie. Oh, well, it's almost eaten size. A little bigger, yeah. Pretty mm. thing. We need dinner. Maybe we just throw him in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? He'd, he'd eat. You know, we can always call him. How about that? There you go. I like it. Let's do it. Oh, it's a turkey on the other side. There's, there's, a, there's this lone turkey just do 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 do. He's making his way along. A lone little turkey. <laughs> Reminds me of the trail camera views. I need to get those out. If we had a slingshot or a BB gun or an arrow, we could maybe get us a catch and cook turkey. Yeah, catch and cook turkey. Oh, that would be delicious. Wild turkey. There we go. Cast right toward that. Right that toward that fish. boil. Yep. Nice. Nice. It's, uh, it's the uh, whirly bee. <laughs> yeah, he's coming in pretty easy. Is it a white bass? All right, we got something to eat. What is it? A white bass. Oh, nice. Nice. We'll throw yeah. that in with the yeah, bluegill. With the bluegill. Look at there. All right, guys. This that's is what's out there. Oh man, those are just, so, so we keep seeing splashes. There must be schooling white bass out there. Cool. And where there are white bass, there are striper. There you go. I say we throw them in. Those yes, don't. Sir. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm uh -huh. There it goes. Look at that. This is a decent fish. Sweet. Oh yeah. I can't even get tied on my dad's. There it is. Another little. Uh, they they tend to like to school and striper usually swim with them oh, so I say we oh keep. Gosh, that that uh, fools me. I thought it was a crappie when he came <laughs> first. Yeah. All right, All we're right. getting some uh, some meat fish here. Yeah. All right, guys, with rattle trap tied on and minnows scattering everywhere. Let's see if we can get some schooling fish. Check out this big bridge. Uh-huh, might be some crappie here. Even though it's springtime, I thought they'd be spawning. Got him. Mm-hmm. He just thumped it. All right. It's been a slow time for me, folks, besides the old bluegill. Oh, it's a lark. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the net broke. Well, yeah, he's been. Oh, he's been caught. cut. Cut. Yeah. By a bird or another beast or something. He's been cut up. Well, that was cool. You never know what you're going to catch on a little uh, crappie jig. Look at the scar on that guy and the dot on his tail. He's been look on that side too. Something like just. Chomp. I wonder if it's like a heron or something with a long beak because the long beak cut him on both sides. What do you think? <laughs> They're good. They are. He has to be over, what, 15 inches? Mm -hmm. He's got leeches in his mouth, too. That's kind of crazy. He's kind of a gnarly bass, you know? Gnarly. He's just like beat up and. Oh, yeah, he he's 15. 15. Easy, yeah. Almost. That's yeah, a 15, 15 inch or 15. Yeah, almost. Hmm. You know what I'll do? I'll throw him in the cooler and we'll see what happens next. 
Some are right here too. Oh! Oh, yeah. do you have them? Yep, yep. Yeah, you got them. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I got them. You have a good fish. Does it just me, or you have a good no, fish? I think he's decent. Yep, I think he's decent. Well, I'll get the net. Yes. Oh yeah, this looks like some crappie, white bass. No white bass. Come on. Oh, it's a nice one, pops. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at well, that. Well, that's that an e or that might be a uh, one a hybrid actually. I'm actually a little unsure of the difference yeah. to be honest because they're all so close. Golly, that is really close, isn't it? Uh huh. No, he's definitely not a striper. Striper is yeah, thin. Yeah. And those are. Wow. That's a good size. Sweet. Fish. That's good eating right there. You know, it took a little while, but I guess we can't expect too much on our first time at a in a lake to fill the cooler. Kind of took all day, guys, to fill. <laughs> I got something. Whoa, guys, this is deja vu here. Got something big on my light, on my light tackle. Oh, no. It's a drum. It's a big no. drum. Oh, yes! I've not caught a drum. It's been a couple in years. a long time. That is a oh, big my dude. Goodness. I've eaten one of these before. It was tasty. Yeah, I remember in that. Louisiana. on the Mississippi. Yeah, uh -huh, on the Mississippi River. Guys, oh, I can't even remember the last time I caught a drum. <laughs> Wait, are we catching the medley this or what? This is cool. This is very cool. <laughs> well, I, I say we add him too. Oh, absolutely. We're just, cool. guys, this is going to be like eating everything that we <laughs> catch. Oh, oh you're not there going anywhere. Oh. Mad. Oh, sweet. Thank you for netting him. Oh, yes, sir. I'll take that. Just that little grub right there. I switched to it to try to catch some white bass. Catch a drum. Guys, what we're going to do is not cook tonight. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to actually bring these back home. And then what I'm going to do is set up, uh, put the carcasses in the river. I've really been enjoying doing that. Putting the carcasses in the river and uh, see what comes along to eat them. Uh, we've had some wild stuff. Uh, snakes, turtles, uh... Oh, otters was the new one. That's a members only video, but the otters came along. And uh, so we'll have to put the carcasses in the back. So it sh it'll work out fine. I'll just bring all the cooked stuff home. Well, my friends, it is a gorgeous evening out here. Beautiful sunset. Good fi day of fishing, especially for our first time on the lake. friends so I have my uh, trail camera and uh, my waders and everything set out uh, for when I'm gonna put out the fish carcasses at the river and then I came out this morning and look what I found it is a little tail of some creature just the tail and Miss Piggy did not come up for food this morning in fact all this morning and into this afternoon I have not seen her because she is full. I'm not really sure what is that a chipmunk tail? What is that? So uh I'm not really sure somebody could enlighten me if somebody's a animal tail <laughs> expert. But uh she's been feeding, but she'll probably show up later on. So I have everything set up here for filleting the fish, but first I need to get to opening uh Leandra Daniel's package here. Ah, beautiful packaging. What do we got here? Out of a city. That's a shirt. Oh, and look at all the snacks. Now, I did just take a, a little peek in it, and when I saw that there was a bunch of food, I actually didn't look through everything, but I thought, wait, I'll save the unboxing. Look at all this. I'll save the unboxing for a video. What is this? Bus stop. Out of a city. 
Must be a Barbados company. Yeah, made in Barbados. I have a Barbados shirt. Sorry, I don't want to show you guys my butter body. Nice. Thank you, Leandra. And we just have, like, look at all these snacks. Popcorn. Ooh, candied and colored. I love popcorn and all the different flavors. It's some sort of like little cookies. Whoa, she absolutely loaded it. Thank you so much. Look at this. And a little, I'll have to open that up. Oh, and a, a letter. Oh, wow. Look at all this. I can't even get to all this in one video. We have corn curls, popcorn, Ovaltine, cream-filled biscuits, chocolate, cheddar cheese. Those remind me of Cheetos. Look at this. Guava cheese, folks. Guava cheese. Extreme barbecue tortilla chips. Extreme nacho. Ripened banana. Why does that look like the most Caribbean snack ever there? Oh, this. Look at these crackers, Eclipse crackers. Uh, she said these are fantastic. One of her favorite uh, crackers right here. Might make some fish hors d'oeuvres. Those will definitely come into play. In fact, I'm gonna set those off to the side. And I wanna eat this thing, this nut cake. It just looks scrumptious. So I'm gonna eat that as well. I gotta try the Bigfoot cheese crackers. And these, she said, are her favorites. They're uh, gooseberry, um, like balls and these, you know, let's open these real quick. Said her absolute favorite out of all these items are these tamarind, Tam tamarind. Look at that. Never had one of these before. The crunch is easier than I thought, or just like collapses and dissolves in my mouth. And I don't think I eat the seeds, do I? That's crazy. I like that. That's a, um, man, it's a, a strong, a strong snack. That is nice. So it's like, how do I describe it? It's like a fruit with a little bit of spice to it. It's like a spicy sweet fruit, basically. That is good. Now I'm gonna try gooseberry. Same thing, they have spices, gooseberries with spices on them. Never had gooseberries, I don't think. Gooseberries are top drawer. They have a little spice to them. It's like a spice on the outside. So they basically made a candied fruit. It's like a, a just a delicious candied fruit. All of them have these little seeds though, like a watermelon. You can spit them at each other. Thank you, Leandra. I see why those are some of your favorites. And I really want to try this just because this looks right up my alley as well. Look at that. Nut cake. It's just like a bunch of peanuts that are covered in a glaze, a crispy cream like glaze. You know how they cover their donuts in that beautiful clear glaze? You know, you can even see it. It kind of looks like that. It's just peanuts in a donut glaze, basically. Mm. I'm thinking I might do some chip crusted fish. Look at that. Banana chips. I think I've had these once before in Hawaii. They're like the most tropical thing ever. Mmm. Lovely. Let's try these Bigfoot chips. Crust some fish in them. Oh, look at that. They're like <laughs> feet. Bigfoot cheese chips. And I almost forgot. I'm gonna show y'all two things. You, you can tell a woman packed this because things are in like pretty little bags. You can also, I could I could tell a woman packed, if there was no name on the package, if I didn't know who it was coming from, I could still tell there was a woman who packaged it right away because she color coordinated the paper. Bar, the Barbados flag is blue and yellow. But um, great care was taken with this. Thank you. Thank you so much to everybody who sent me stuff. I know it takes me a while to get to uh, opening it, but I do just get so many different things. Sometimes it's um, it's just a little difficult. Look at this. It's like a little keychain thing, and it, I'm guessing that is sand from Barbados. It's so funny because I just started wearing this necklace, like probably about four weeks ago or so, and then I get this package, and she sends me this little necklace. So it's a little. Bible verse on there, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you, Leandra. Sweet, it goes exactly with my other silver one. 
All right, cool. I have a lot of cool stuff to try. I'm excited to try guava cheese too. Nice. I'm gonna start with my dad's big white bass. I'm curious if this has a bunch of shad in its stomach. I'm kind of thinking it will. I don't eat very many of these though, so I don't know if will. Oh, it was a female, unfortunately. I wonder what drum eat. I don't, it's probably just the usual stuff. I don't know, do they chase around bait fish or are they kind of just bottom feeders? That's crazy. There's like absolutely nothing in the drum's stomach. Wow. Good net. I cut open a little white bass and he has more stuff in his stomach. Look at that. Look at all the shad and everything, guys. He has more, he's three shad at least in his stomach. Look at that. He has more in his stomach than the other two fish combined. Same thing. All kinds of little shad in there. Ha, that's crazy. All right, my friends, down here at the river, got the bucket full of the fish guts. Let's find a good spot to set these up. Check this out. So I already have one experiment going on, but this is a members only video. Uh, I've got a fresh caught trout that's been filleted, and then that is a farm-raised trout steak there. So I'm doing a little experiment there. If you guys want to become members of my channel, uh, click on the link in the description. It's only $1 a month. You can see all kinds of cool extra content. Should be perfect. Yeah. Look at that. That should attract something. Sweet, I've got four more there if I had the fish. Might have to do this with even more fish if this turns out pretty cool, like a family of otters or something comes. All right, tied to that tree there, tied to that tree there. Let's see what comes along to take a bite. Miss Piggy Poo, where have you been? I have not seen you all day. I was just getting set up for cooking. You're just in time. What did you eat this morning, huh? What was it was, please tell me it was a ground squirrel and not a chipmunk. If it was a chipmunk, that's just, I mean, that's pretty messed up to eat something that cute, you know? That's pretty messed up. She's like, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. All right, um, yeah, see, I'm sitting, I have all my cooking stuff set up on her spot. She usually sits right here. Well, you gotta move over. This is my kitchen now. These things are so good. Plain. I almost don't want to use them for breading. You know, I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm going to open these cheddar cheese looking things. Cheese sticks. Oh yeah. So I think by the time I'm... I don't know what I'm doing really. I think I'm going to get a mortar and pestle. For this very thing. Then I have here this Tupperware thing with a little bit of flour in it. Put that on here. Nice. A little milk. Milk and egg wash. I love all the birds. Kind of cool doing a variety catch and cook. Get them really crusty there.
while we're waiting for the fish to finish cooking this came from Luke Swenson from Draper Utah oh nice Hi, it's my name is Luke. I'm 12 years old. I've been watching your videos for about three years. Sent you some lures that he made from, oh my goodness, wait, do you guys see this? But well, first of all, see the artwork there. That is supreme. That is cool. I love that catfish. So first we have some spinners made from bottle caps. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> from a Heineken and a Coors Light and a Michelob Ultra. And then he poured, oh, nice color, nice colors. Poured these Cinco's and a little creature bait there. That is cool, I'll have to use these in a video sometime. Sweet, I love it. Thank you so much, Luke. Nice. Oh, it's falling apart. All right, Pops. Cheesy wow. chip crusted fish. Barbados flavored. Ooh, so. Barbados. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right, should pray real quick? Yeah, would you? Dear Lord, thank you so much for this food and thank you for all your creation. We ought to enjoy it as you bless it to our bodies now. Through Jesus I pray, amen. Amen. Sweet. Now, are there different kinds of fish here? Yes, so mm -hmm. this, I say we try the white bass first. Okay, and that's what this is. And that's is. what this right. is. Cheers. We'll do a little taste test, see which one we like better. To me, the texture of the meat is um, kind of like a, almost, not quite a sea perch, where it's mushy, but it's not, but it's not flaky, it's not meaty. It's just a, it's kind of light. Yeah, it's a what real light see? fish. Yeah, um, yeah, and I like it. Also I, light. I, yeah. I like it. But it absorbs whatever you put on it, kind of thing. Mm hmm That's fun having that crunch yeah. on there. No, I like yeah. that, yeah, definitely. You know what it needs, though? It needs, um, the tartar slaw. Tartar slaw. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get that. Please. Pardon me, excuse him. Oh, look what I got. Tartar slaw from some fish we were eating earlier in the week. And all it is is mayonnaise, cubed pickles, and some seasonings. My mom makes it, it is supreme. And it's not quite coleslaw, not quite tartar sauce. So we call it tartar slaw. Right. Take note of how that tastes and we'll, we'll see which one is better. <laughs> You're, this is what happens with these dumb plastic forks. <laughs> that startled me. Here, here's another one. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a... No, that's that thick. A, that's the drum. Oh, is that right? Uh -huh. Man, that's like a steak fish. No kidding. Whoa. Huh? You're gonna no wonder you think mine's going to break, too. Here, we need me, like a knife for it. Yeah, I think we do. That's we need crazy. a knife for the drum. That's nuts. I'll hold the plate. <laughs> the yeah, other fish just fell apart. Oh, no. This is like this a steak. Is, Wow. I mean, that, that, you really had to cut through that. That might be the steakiest fish we've ever... I, this, well, for, certainly the steakiest fresh water. Uh-huh. All right. Cheers. All right, cheers. Let's try it without the coleslaw or tartar sauce. Mm-hmm. That's like having a piece of, of, of like red meat kind of a thing. Uh, like pork, like just eating mm -hmm. pork or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's really good though, the flavor. All right, so the drum, I think, is better. I do too. And, and because it, it's just steakier. Mm-hmm. I, I like mean, it. it's like a piece of meat fish. It is like, like a... a yeah. Like a piece of pork on the plate. Mm -hmm. And then we got the bluegill. I mm. think this is the bluegill. Watch out, there might be a few bones in this little feller. Where do you rank? Cheers. Okay, for me, I like the bluegill the best. Okay, and for flavor, I was gonna say the same thing. I was gonna say the, the flavor bluegill was really good. And the good. texture, because the, the, the drum was a little, I mean, it was real chewy, like you uh -huh. said, like pork, and that bluegill's in my, nice midway. That, that, I really like that. Very good taste on that mm -hmm. little bluegill. Wow, I kinda, yep. it's been so long since I've eaten them, I forgot how oh, yeah. good they were, and yeah. you kinda, since they're so easy to catch, I kind of overlook them, but yeah, the bluegill won, mm -hmm. <laughs> surprisingly. Yeah, that amazes me that the bluegill won. Oh. It really does. Mmm. Good stuff, Maynard. Chip crusted fish. Chip crusted fish. <laughs> Thank you to Leandra for sending us all this stuff. Thank you, Leandra. It's fantastic. Mm. Now I guess I just have to wait for the trail camera back there. I've got all the fish carcasses hung up. All right, that'll be fun. Yeah, see what happens next. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. That was a fun day. Good, good day. So my first customer of the night was this otter, but he came over and inspected it and then swam off and didn't return that night. So I wasn't expecting that. And then this heron found it. And this was crazy because I did not know that herons hunt it at night. They must have some insane eyes to be able to see down in the water and have just general night vision 
to be able to hunt. I thought that was cool. I, I did not know they did that. And then the next morning, another one walks by. I think it's so cool how their heads stay in one spot and then their body and neck like moves independently. And then the water came up quite a bit. This water, uh, this river fluctuates a good bit. And uh, so a heron was watching from shore and then whoosh. That was so cool. So then later on that night, I realized I made a big blunder. Um, the stringer slides up and down, and something had grabbed it and pulled it out from in front of the trail camera. And you see right here, a beaver actually swims by. That was cool. Let's rewind that. Check it out, the big paddle tail. A beaver there, so that was fun. And then a family of otters finds it, but unfortunately, the fish had slid out of the view of the trail camera mostly, so I got a little bit here, but most of the action happened off camera. You can see an otter here early in the morning, come up to inspect it, he bites off a little chunk. So I need to put some sort of little stopper or something on the stringer to keep the fish from sliding around. Hard lesson to learn, but uh, I'll have to try this again. I did get a lot of cool heron footage here. These are my favorite birds. It's so cool how they move and hunt. But uh, cool experiment nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have to try it again. Thank you guys for hanging out, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.